Mental Fox here. Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Control. Thank you for joining me again. Well, those of you who watched the last episode know that I was going the wrong way. <laughs> um, so what I need to do is go back to that room where we followed um, the, the TV. Oh, geez, but we need to fight first. So let's do a little bit of fighting, get right into this. I don't like these guys. These guys are tough to fight. You can't throw things at them. And uh, they throw stuff at you. I oh, mean, I am going horrible. My aim is terrible. Okay, he's going to throw some stuff at me, so I'm going to hide behind this. Are you done throwing stuff at you? Man, am I even hitting him at all? Man, I'm doing terrible. Recharge. Oh, did they go away? They're like, God, I'm not going to stick around and fight her. <laughs> I sure as heck didn't kill them. You know what? I don't even want to fight them. Let's just run through here. Let's just run past these guys. I mean, really, what what, what am I going to get from fighting these guys? We're going to go back in here. This is where we need to go. So, in the last episode, when we first came th into this twisted passage... And like the room tilted and all that, I, I did, I totally did not see that you could get up here. Um, I just thought it was too high to jump up. I, I just didn't even bother to stop and take a look. But uh, if I stop and take a look, I'll, I, I see that yes, indeed, I can run up here. So this is the way that I am supposed to go. Game's making noises. So yes, I was confused, and it's kind of interesting that I was able to make it to where I made it to in the last episode. Um, it's too bad that I kept dying. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't die, like if I had lived through that. Would I have ever come back here? <laughs> I don't know. So we got a bunch of stuff here that I can pick up and throw around. Uh, way down there I see some something red. Maybe that's a control point that we need to cleanse. But this is pretty weird, pretty freaky. Okay, so there is a... Some dude flying there. He's probably going to be pretty tough. Can I can I shoot him now? No, I can't. So, no pre preemptive strike for me here. Oh gosh, I don't like this at all. Ugh. Oh look at look how many of them. Yeah, I can't I can't do anything to him until I break this threshold here. This is uh this is not going to go well. Am I even doing anything to that guy at all? Whoa. Okay, what is going on here? It's pretty scary. Um, there's something maybe... Oh gosh, look at my health. Oh man, this is... Uh, okay, well, I'm dead. Pretty much uh, instantly insta-dead here. So I'm being a big doofus and not taking this seriously at all. Where'd the guy go? Oh, damn it. Wow, okay. That, um, yeah. Just came flying at me. Oh, this is not good, man. This is not good. I don't, I don't want this to be difficult. I just want to go in here and do this. <laughs> I do not want this to take multiple, multiple tries. I want to go in there, finish these guys off. I got distracted. There was a, there was a shiny and I wanted to go look at it. So, no distractions. We're not going to, we're not going to stop for these guys. If they show up again, we're just going to run right through. Okay, nobody's attacking me yet. All right, nice and quiet. Maybe the game will take pity on me, like it looked like it was trying to take pity on me in the last episode. And it won't throw as many enemies at me. Let's see how this goes. Let's see, what weapon do I have ready? This one? I think I need this one. If they're going to be up in the air. Oh, I'm not still not close enough? Still not hitting me. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Move it. 
Oh, here comes some stuff. Oh gosh, man, I've already lost half my health. Okay, so he, this is Salvador. He's a named dude. Um, should I be fighting these guys up here? I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that... Damn it! Well, he's gonna fight for me, but I'm almost dead already again. Oh, jeez. Okay, doggone it. Well, shoot. Um... I don't even know what strategy to try to use. Oh, damn it, I missed him. Let's put this guy to work for me. Um, who else I got? Got a guy up here, I think he's dead. Okay, I got that guy over there working for me. I don't know if I hit anybody there or not. Hitting somebody, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think I hit anybody there. Let's put this guy to work for me. Let's see if that does anything for me. Salvador is barely even hurt. Where is he? I don't even know where he is. Where the hell is Salvador? Let's hit this guy up here. Put him to work. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Put him to work for us. Kill this guy, get his health. Kill that guy. I think he's dead. Gotta focus a little bit on Salvador here. He's getting his health back. Oh, damn it! I'm too close to him. Too close to him. need some help. What's happening? A little bit of damage to him, not much. damage. Move it, move it, Jesse, move it, Jesse, damn it, move it! Get over there, get that health. Damn it! Oh, I'm almost dead and I ain't got nobody left to kill to get health from. Duh. Pull this health up. Oh, come on! Damn it! Ah... The health from over here. Ah, he was stuck over here. Okay, where is he? Where is he? There he is. Oh, nothing. Uh, throw something, Jesse. I need to move. Hide. A little bit of health down here. I'm running out of places to hide. Hit him. Hit him again. Oh, it's coming at me. Almost got him. Throw something, Jesse. Got him. That thing was Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance of this. No one here does. No kidding. Okay. Well, finally got it. Took care of that. Uh, I think I, I might have picked something up, collectible-wise. Research and records, multimedia. Research and records, what did I pick up? Um, will it tell me what's new? Yeah, Salvador's ID. It should never have been accessible to low-clearance staff in the first place. Lynn Salvador. Hmm. I wonder what it is he's talking about. And then we picked up some multimedia. And that multimedia is uh, altered items. Oh, is this that 
Threshold Kids? I think we watched this on the last episode. Let's watch it again. Looks safe to me. Doctors and spies! Wait! It's not even plugged in! Okay. <laughs> All right. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. You gotta love the threshold, kids. <laughs> okay, let's go this way, shall we? Uh, there's something else over here for me to pick up or look at. Okay. The TV. Yes, the TV. Hold on. Another object of power gone nuts. Uh huh. Just, uh, just a moment. Hold on, just a second. Here we go again. Yeah, here we go again. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this first though. Uh, anchor supplements. Uh, Ocelot's anchor background. The crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the blank. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with fl faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew blank by throwing a tin bucket, which disappeared into the sphere. This was back in 1976. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the Blank rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates and began, and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the blank to the U.S. port of blank. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the bureau via the blank. Oh my gosh. That's, that's a cool effect. Alright, let's touch the TV. Uh, that's probably going to take us into uh, the other world or whatever that place is called. Use the TV slash babysitter, levitate slash superhero over the obstacle. Use levitate to complete the astral plane challenge. Hold the space bar to levitate. Okay. Ooh. Oh, 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 neat. I stay levitated. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. All right. Uh, there was no health bar energy bar or anything that told me like when I was going to fall back to the ground uh, I do not like the looks of that but that is something that we're going to have to avoid 
See, like, when will I fall? I don't know. I do not want to be close to that thing. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Oh, crap. Um, okay. See, I don't know when I'm gonna fall, so I'm afraid to go far. Can I use these in conjunction with each other? I can. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh-huh, you're over there, and I'm over here. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, oh, you have a friend. That's what you're gonna do about it. Uh, well, I'm taking a fall while falling to slow fall, safe, safely controlling the descent. What? I just press the space bar over and over again? Is that what's going on? Oh, hi. Oh! Oh! Okay. Hmm. Oh, good, some health. I need that. Hold it down, go up. Whoa, 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 Jesse, what are you doing? Oh, jeez. This is a good... Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, I, I screwed up. Oh, oh. Fly, Jesse, fly. Oh, okay. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't really like this. Um. Which way am I going? I don't even know which way I'm supposed to be going. Um. Am I going that way? I think. I'm not sure. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and descend. Okay. Oh, there's somebody up there. I'm going over here. Whoop, okay. Go up here. And, um... Stop shooting at me, I don't like it. Uh, then I press a button. Okay, hmm. Newsflash, APB. Oh, uh huh? The hiss slash static attempts. Oh, so what, huh? Okay. Dealt with the TV. Well, that went way too far. Now I can find Dylan. Dealt with the TV. Now we can find Dylan. So she says. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I guess this is the room we were in before, where we fought Salvador. Right. That's where we are right now. And I guess I'm gonna need to levitate to get up there. Yes. Okay, now I'm in here. Running back through this again. Okay. And what do I do now? Oh, jeez, I don't want to fight this stuff. Where'd my health go, man? I thought I had more health than this. These are those dudes in the chair, aren't they? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi, how you doing? No, he's not in the chair. Oh, gone it. I'm gonna freaking die. Damn it. Run, Jesse. Run. Run. Run, Jesse! Screw those guys. I'm out of here. I'll go this way. Where the hell am I? What is this place? Doggone it. I kind of want to fight him, though, to see... I mean, how come this guy has all of his health? Didn't I hurt him at all? Didn't I hurt either one of them? All right, I'm gonna try to take these guys out. Maybe I'm stupid, but... Oh, I think they get their health back, don't they? Yeah, they just dodge anyway. Ah, uh, screw them. I'm out of here. Okay, mission updated. Search for Dylan in the maximum security cell's fifth floor. Oh, hey, look, there's a dude over there. Yeah, dodge that. You can't dodge that, can you? Um, so our quest now, uh, let's see here. Jesse goes to the containment sector to find the Panopticon, where Dylan is held. She is let into the Panopticon, a secure containment facility for dangerous paranatural objects by Frederick Langston, 
the Panopticon supervisor, she gains the ability to levitate by binding the Benikoff TV object of power. I have a case file that I didn't see before. I don't see one. Benikoff TV. Um. Huh. Okay, I don't think I've read this one yet. This was acquired back in 1979. Containment procedure. No unique containment procedures required while bound. Description slash pair utility. A CRT television built by Benikoff and Sons Electrics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of blank. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to harness this effect for their own use. See report blank for the results tested with prime candidate blank. The object is currently bound by blank. Background. The object was first discovered in a local news story from blank Kansas. A figure had been seen blank over buildings. The Bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered that, the, that a man named Blank had bound himself to the object. Mr. Blank was detained and the object was brought to the Bureau for study. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see who else is going to shoot at me. There's a dude way up there. So I need to go to the fifth floor, I guess. Really makes me wonder about that area that I was at before when I was in archives, but I guess I wasn't supposed to be there yet. So, um, one thing I can do is go back to this, um, control point because I haven't been to a control point in a long time. So we're going to go over here and kind of do a reset at the control point. It's the prudent thing to do. Okay, so we've done that. And, uh, we still have this dude in here. Hey dude, you alright? Can we talk now? We cannot. He's just going to sit there and look at that refrigerator. Alright, we'll come back for him later. Okay, sounds like... Trouble has left town out here. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to fly up there, huh? I mean, there's no other way to get up there. Um... I wonder, am I supposed to fly over to there and then fly up from there? Maybe that's how I'm supposed to do it. Okay. So we're gonna fall down here, and now I'm gonna float up here. What? 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 Okay. <laughs> Good job, Jesse. Okay. We are now on the fifth floor. Oh, and there's baddies somewhere around here. Wouldn't want to stop and enjoy myself at all. We have to fight bad guys. Just him, huh? Okay, I can live with that. Looks like he dropped something interesting. Oh, there's a swan over there. Uh, Bureau alert, executive hiss nodes. Meh. Let's just keep going forward. Felt like I kind of spun my wheels a bit in the last episode, and I'm eager to move forward. I mean, I could even go up there if I wanted to. Eh, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't hover that high. Oh, okay. I didn't really want to have it let it levitate, but whatever. So here we've got a beautiful swan, and I think we read about that swan earlier. I remember reading about it. At least I think I did anyway. Can't imagine what else I would have been thinking about. And here is a water cooler. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, water cooler. And here. Uh, nothing. That's... Oh, no, there is something there. Ha ha ha, crowbar, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna say that's a Half-Life re reference. Whoa. Oh, gosh. He's so close. Is he? Oh, gosh. Oh. That sound is kind of freaking me out a little bit. I don't like that sound. If that sound is designed to induce panic. Well, they've certainly done it. Okay. So we'll go to P6 in a minute. I just want to go in the other direction here. Um, just to see the other... If there's any other displays. There's the... Here we go. Here's one. There's something that I can interact with here, too. Help ourselves to... 
uh, a health boost, personal mod health boost. And this here, I like a Mylar balloon. <laughs> Get well soon. Who thinks of this crap? It's so great. <laughs> the randomness of the objects is fantastic. Okay, well, let's go down here to the P6 cell. P6 cell. There we are at the top center of the screen. Gosh, their faces are so scary looking, man. With their mouths are open like that, it's so gross. Oh boy. What have we got here? What is this? Oh, one of those things. Can I get in there? I can. Help ourselves to this thing. Get the remote thought. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, oh, it's, it's Pope. Jesse. I can hear you. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh, it's another one of those. Can I get in there? Um, Not yet. Okay, let's go talk to Pope. Oh, jeez. Where was... Maximum security live subjects. Are you there, Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's oh. here. With us. What? He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but oh. he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. Okay. I have to see my brother. Mission completed. My brother's keeper. New mission. The face of the enemy. Oh, what happened to Fridge? Okay, now we can assist the agent. Freaky, scary stuff. Let's look at our missions. Um... The face of the enemy, Jesse goes back to Central Executive to reunite with her brother. Completed missions, this one was called My Brother's Keeper. Uh, she gains the ability to levitate. Using this power, Jesse reaches Dylan's cell on the top floor. There's way more floors than this. This is not the top floor. There, Jesse finds an empty room with signs of a deadly struggle. Pope contacts her via an intercom. Dylan has just entered Central Executive. Well, that is unexpected. Collectibles. Why is the mission still showing up as something new? What else is new here? Oh, the enemy within. Investigate the safe room? What's this? Jesse returns to the sealed threshold to contain the anchor altered item. That cost Horowitz and the other rangers their lives. Oh, gosh, yeah, I forgot about this place. And then we need get to help this uh, agent as well. So we've got several missions to choose from right now. Collectibles uh, hotline. We got a new hotline. Control points. Let's watch. Um, okay, I already knew that. <laughs> Why are you telling me this now? I already knew that, people. Don't know why you needed to tell me that now. That's kind of weird, right? Seems weird. Let's uh, see what's on the ground here. Dylan Faden observation. Eh, here's his daily observations. This is confidential, so don't share this with anybody, okay? Uh, 9.30 a.m. breakfast is brought. 11.54 a.m., Gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed. 11.57 a.m. Asks for television to be turned on. Staff do so. 12 o'clock p.m. Lunch is brought. Breakfast is removed. 12.02 p.m. Eats lunch. 2.38 p.m. Uses toilet. 4.03 p.m. Begins talking to self. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. 
407 p.m. becomes upset, throws lunch tray at glass. 409 sedated, crew, crew cleaned the cell. It's like a tongue twister. Television is turned off. Um, 6.12 p.m. comes to, asks for television to be turned on. Staff refuse. A little star here. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. 6.16 p.m. sleeps? Maybe? We're not sure? Man, we are still not level 6, and I... I'm kind of insulted by that. We are the freaking... The freaking director, and we do not have the highest level of clearance. What the hell? Uh, this door, however, is open. Let's go look around in here. See uh, if we can make any sense out of this. Oh, there's some stairs that go up. And some stairs that go down. Let's go up first. Okay. Well, it's like a freaking stage down there. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, that's the end of that. Let's see what's on the other side there. Huh? Just a big room. Don't know if anything's supposed to happen here or. Let's go see what's up. We got uh, some spotlights here. This way. Just uh, the end of the room. There's a lone monitor sitting on a table here. Another computer there. See, it's written Jesse there on the glass. I mean, Dylan's not going to hurt us, right? Dylan's our brother. Oh, oh, get in there. Here you go. So you're not going to say anything about that, Jesse? Hmm? You're not going to say anything about that at all? That your name's written on the on the glass there? I have nothing to say about that. Okay. Well, um, it's just a big room, um, and, um, yes, yeah, obviously signs of a struggle here. Ooh, here we go. See, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for goodies. I want information. Oh, a recording. All right, I won't take up too much of your time today. All right, I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? <sighs> when I first got here, sure. I'd always hoped she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau, if she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? <laughs> I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... End of session. Oh, Dylan's got a bit of a temper. Okay, maybe Dylan will hurt Jesse. <laughs> He's a little mad at her. Like I said, I want to talk about Jesse, your sister. What about her? 
I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean. Back in ordinary. And you okay, so we found a recording. When I first got here, sure. Anything else to find in here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get let's get out of here. Let's go help the guy with the fridge, man. See if we could do anything about that. This poor guy. I feel bad. I'm sitting there staring at that fridge all that time. I mean it's a pretty cool looking fridge, but I don't want to just sit there and stare at it. Get me out of here. Open up. <laughs> you have to wait for that one to shut. There we go. Okay, so we are going to go down to the dude on the fourth floor, help him out. That's exactly what we're going to do. But of course we have to face, face some enemies first. Oh, he's going to shoot at me. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Let's switch to this weapon. Oh, oh, they're down there. Uh, do I like this weapon? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay, we're on the fourth floor. Full health. Oh, damn it, more? Gosh. Or not. <laughs> there, all I had to do was complain about it. And then went away. Okay. Dude. That refrigerator. He's over here. Let's do a quick... Quick save. And actually, we should be able to uh, spend some more ability points here. So, um... We could do plus 10% to levitation duration. Do I care? I don't know. This will help my energy. I use energy a lot. Uh, this will take four points. I have four points. That's what I'm going to spend it on. There. Okay, I feel good about that. Okay, we're out of, we're out of points. All right, dude. I've come to help you. Keep your eyes open, son. Keep them open. Oh. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Okay. Please hurry. I'll hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. Yeah, get moving, Jesse. so much. Just hang on, Philip. I'll see if I could find you some eye drops. Okay, it's not really what I'm going to do. Speak with Langston. Okay, speak with Langston. Um, is there a way I could fast travel back to Langston? <laughs> Um, we go here, we go to fast travel, Langston is where? He is at the Panopticon entrance, uh, and there is a fast travel point, uh, right here at Panopticon, so, haha, uh -huh. fast traveled to the Panopticon, and he's right here, there you go, that's how you do it, man, that's how you do it, watch and learn. Sudden stop hits theaters tonight. I can't believe I'm missing an Alex Casey movie for this. <laughs> um, so this quest here, called Fridge Duty, Jesse finds an agent in the Panopticon who has been left to stare at a refrigerator altered item. He can't stare much longer, but if he blinks, then the refrigerator will deviate. I wonder if he can like close one eye at a time, like close his left eye and close his right eye. The Panopticon agent asks Jesse to help him get out of the cell and away from the refrigerator altered item. All right, well, that's what we're doing. Let's talk to this guy. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. 
Philip. Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. <laughs> He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. Damn. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. <laughs> Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. Um, we've already talked to him about all these things, so see you later. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. I'll s see you later, Langston. Stay frosty. Okay, so now, uh, return to Philip. Um, did my quest get updated? Uh, no, it didn't. Same text. So, we will fast travel up there, and this is some serious fast travel. Watch this. Watch how fast this is. Watch this. Upper Panopticon. We're there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Do I talk Hello? to him, or do I just go in? I'm back. I'm coming in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's kind of afraid of no fridge. I ain't worried about no damn fridge. Uh, so, uh, in the last episode, or the episode before, I tried to look at, um, information about the fridge, uh, because we had, um, seen it before, and I didn't find it because I was looking for a fridge or refrigerator. Somebody told me what to look for, uh, but I don't remember what it was. I don't remember at all what it, what it was I was supposed to look at. Um... Let me see if any of this looks familiar. Um, what was it? Is any of this um, about objects? No, where is the... Where's the information on... Um, let's see, is it case files maybe? Maybe this is it. Yeah, okay, we got the TV. Okay, it's an altered world event. Altered items, here we go. Uh, let's see, fan. Refrigerator supplement is right here. Arctic Queen, there you go. Uh, so let's let's read this real quick. Uh, this was back in 1974. Uh, can you tell us why you left your building that day? I was running out to get eggs. There was that corner store on 30th. That's why I left Michael there on his own. Knew I wouldn't be gone long. He was drawing at the table when I left, had his crayons out, happy. The building came down when I was a block away. I ran back, started digging. City workers found Mikey later, beside the fridge. The drawings hadn't come off. Tons of bricks fall on it, and those drawings are still there. How does that happen? You kept the refrigerator after the accident. Why? It still had his drawings. God must have kept them safe for a reason, right? I'd get home from work and stare at them all night. I was in a bad way back then. Why did you sell the fridge with your son's drawings still on it? They'd gotten stuck to it or something. I thought about cutting them, off, cutting them off those magnets, but maybe it was better I didn't hold on to them, you know? Gotta move on, everyone says. What's my fridge got to do with the building collapse anyhow? End of relevant portion, okay? Jesse? Yeah, 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 hold on. The fridge is doing something! Okay, hold on. Hold on, I need to read this. <laughs> Uh, employee incident. Employee named Philip Filson. This is the guy that's in the room there. Oh, damn it. Oh. Right here. He's a junior agent. Report type, incident violent behavior. Review, incident in question occurred on blank and was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally, and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had blank his meal. 
Agent Filson began to kick the Bureau-owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's commands to desist. Recommendation Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. Philip? Find a way to subdue the refrigerator. Whoa. Hey, hey, Fridge. If I look away, it hurts me. Be good, refrigerator. Be good. Whoa, what? Huh? Former? What? What the? What is going on? It sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. What the? Fuck? What the? Neat. Oh, it's cool. Look. Oh, 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 oh. Former. Oh. Am I supposed to? Oh. Okay, and I'm dead. Well, that sucks. Now what? Now what do I have to do? Where's this going to put me back? <laughs> Suddenly I'm dead. That's no fun. And... Where's it going to put me? Uh, I kind of figured that. Alright. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Come back here. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. We're coming in. Jesse? The fridge is doing something! Philip? Philip? Find a way to subdue the refrigerator. Oh, gross. Look, he's a blood stain. So if I look away from the fridge, <gasps> it hurts. <laughs> and it took some of my health, damn it. If I look away... It hurts me. Let's get a closer look at this fridge, man. So there's the drawings. We've got this thing here. Unhappy people there. We've got like a dinosaur kind of thing. I can't get out and I can't look away. Okay. Maybe I can cleanse it. Let's cleanse this mofo, man. Let's cleanse this fridge. <laughs> and apparently we're going to fight a big giant freaking... <laughs> I don't know, snake thing. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? Uh, okay, that did a tiny bit of damage. Whoa! Oh, don't let that hit you. Doing micro amounts of damage. Don't, don't let the balls hit you. Okay, oh, now what? Okay, he's gonna move to a different side, I guess, yeah. Time oh, he's got arms. He's got arms, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, jeepers creepers. That didn't do much. Okay, he's got his balls coming at me again. Keep your balls to yourself, buddy. Oh. Recharging. Ooh. Watch out for the balls. I'm gonna go back here and get a little bit of this health. Oh, son of a mother. Oh, jeez. Watch out for the balls. How do I get health items? Sometimes they just pop up, thank goodness. Oh, damn it, quit that. I don't, I don't appreciate that one bit, sir. I'm sorry, I did not. Oh, okay. I wonder why this thing's called Former. Damn it, I need more health items. Not seeing any. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to do that. Damn it! I'm gonna freaking die now. 
crap. Damn it, I'm so close. Damn it! Oh! Shoot. Hmm. Well, poo. Doggone it. Philip? <gasps> Philip? If I look away, it hurts me. Don't look away. Alright, let's wait for this to start. like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck? Oh, damn it. Why don't I just run right into that? All right. Yep, just trying some things. Not really doing a lot of damage to it. Move it, move it, Jesse. You need to move. It's a good way to do things or not. I really don't know. Damn it. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Oh, man. Hmm. I think I threw one of the balls back at him. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, throw all those balls at me. Maybe I could throw that back at him. No, 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 don't do that. No. Get some of these health items. Oh, come on, now that I've figured out how to do this, he's not gonna throw the balls at me anymore. I got all my health back. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fridge seems fixed. Interesting. Did fighting that thing off change something? Whoa. Oh, okay. I guess I fought it off. I didn't realize it. I guess maybe I killed it. Okay. Hey. All right. Well, whatever, man. Okay. Now we go speak to Langston again. <laughs> Beats the hell out of me, man. I'll, I'll take it. I, I guess we killed it. All right. Uh, is there new text on this one? On fridge duty? Nope. Well, it's too bad that guy's dead, though. Jeez. We couldn't even save the guy. He's just a freaking blood smear on the ground now. That sucks. Well, I don't feel like I really accomplished much of anything. It sucks. Alright, well, let's talk to Langston. Let him know that his co-worker's freaking blood smear on the ground. Yeah, so many. I guess life's a... How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. <laughs> but if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? 
I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a <laughs> list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. <laughs> okay. All right. Mission completed. Fridge duty. We got three more points. Uh, new mission, Langston's Runaways. I'll see you later, Langston. Yeah, see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Like always. So, we got a new mission called Langston's Runaways. Langston asks Jesse to cleanse and retrieve the numerous altered items that have escaped from the Panopticon. He warns Jesse that their behavior has become erratic since the hits, hiss captured them. And if we track them... And, uh, let's see, look at the map. How do I look at the map? Get out of there. Look at the map. Uh, it looks like there's one in Medical Wing, there's one in the Panopticon, and one in the Sealed Threshold Hall, if I'm looking at that correctly. Yes. Oh, there's also one in Executive Dead Letters, too. Looking in the upper left-hand corner there where it lists them. Um, so, uh, let's see here. We got some new assets. We got some new collectibles. New case files, um, new case files, refrigerator procedures, containment procedure, no unique procedures required, descriptional slash altered effect, an altered, altered, an Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s, no cooling functionality, the door is decorated with crayon illustrations by blank, the illustrations cannot be removed from the item, all attempts have failed, the paper cannot be burned or torn. Background. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served as an appliance in apartment blank. It's a long, whoops, it's a long apartment name. Rented by a man named Blank. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr. Blank, who was out of the building at the time of collapse, Blank PM, retained ownership of the item until 1974 when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. Appendix, new altered item has been, oh, I'm sorry, new altered effect has been observed. See file, blah, blah, blah for details. See this other file for new containment procedures. Okay, and then um, we got a new hotline thing apparently, and it's called Former. Let's watch it. Okay, so the the farmer is going to try to tempt us, and the board is saying, "Don't let it happen." Well, I survived. I made it through. Made it to the end of this episode. We come back next time. Uh, we'll see if we can't spend these abilities. Maybe do some astral construction. I don't know. And then uh, we will decide which of the many uh, quests we have available to us to uh, pursue. 
We have uh, several of them now, which is kind of fun, right? Well, I hope that you guys had fun following me run ar running around this episode, this place. If you did enjoy it, why don't you let me know? Let me a like or a comment. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you know when I post videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.